I do not have the cutest places to film in my house, but I wanted to tell you before this video that I had a lot to say about this day of our trip. This is the third day of our trip to Hutchinson Island, Jensen Beach, Stewart, Jupiter, that kind of area. Um, in today's video, we visit Fort Pierce. We love Fort Pierce. Um, and I had a lot to say, but not a ton of footage. So the first half of the video just moves very, very quickly. And um, I just kind of am so excited. This was actually my favorite day of the trip, yet it was the day that we have the least amount of video, which is just sometimes how it goes. Um, so I just wanted to say that before we jump into today's video. Make sure you go back and watch the other two videos that I did of this trip. Um, again, this is the third day, but I posted videos from our first day and our second day, and they are just as much fun as this one. Good morning. Good morning. It is day three and we're getting ready to go to breakfast. Mitch picked out a really good place. I'm excited about it. Mulligans. It's a uh, waterfront, but like, I don't know if we're going to be able to see the water from our seats. We'll let you know. But we'll let you know. <laughs> you'll be the first to be updated on that. Not sure what we're going to do today. What we're kind of thinking is um, that brewery tour that I mentioned yesterday, maybe. So like going up to Sebastian and working our way down or, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe the lighthouse. We didn't make it there yesterday. So we'll see. All right. Check it out. See you later. Thanks. Mulligan's is a great spot in Jensen Beach for water views of the Indian River. It's not actually waterfront and I'll show you what I mean by that. We did have great views of the water and again I'll show you that video in just a few minutes. It does have nice views. They have a huge menu which you can see here. Their upstairs seating is wide open and that's where you get the views. Um, and we loved the great like coastal vibes of the restaurant. They're also known for Bloody Marys. So of course I had to get one and it was really good. For food, I got a breakfast bowl and we forgot to take a video of Mitchell's food and now we can't remember what he got, but we do remember that we both loved the food. Mulligan's has nice views like I mentioned, but also it is close to a lot of the action. So if you're out and about exploring the area, it's a great place to stop for a drink or a quick meal. These are the views from the restaurant that I was talking about earlier. So it's not waterfront in maybe the traditional sense, but there were definite beautiful water views. After breakfast at Mulligan's, we just kind of drove around for a little bit. We wanted to familiarize ourselves with the area and just explore a little bit more. And we really loved how wherever we went, we were never very far from the water. This is just from our drive, beautiful water views, what felt like everywhere. After our drive, we went back to our hotel. I mentioned in our previous um, videos that we stayed at the Hutchinson Resort and Spa, which is a great place to stay, highly recommend it. This is the spa actually, not the spa, but the hotel. Um, and they have these cabanas. They are, if I remember correctly, around $100 a day. We did not rent one and instead we spent most of the morning by the pool. My favorite vacation drink is a pina colada, but I actually didn't love the pina coladas here. Um, but anyways, after we spent the morning at the pool, in the afternoon we headed out to the Isla Morada Beer Company. It is a brewery in Fort Pierce, but they also have a brewery in, of course, Isla Morada, which is in the Florida Keys. So at their um, location in Fort Pierce, you can expect the same amazing beers as well as the vodka sodas by Crooked Palm. It's also painted in the same super fun colors. And I'm actually going to insert a clip from my brewery review about the Isla Morada um, Brewing Company in the Florida Keys here, just so you kind of have a reference. We visited was Isla Morada Beer Company in Isla Morada, Florida. I apologize for these videos being the wrong way. I was brand new to YouTube when I took these videos. I definitely need to get back down there and take some good video to update. So Isla Morada is located in the Keys. 
and this is such a bright and fun brewery when i talk about community this brewery really nails it they definitely are a community locals love them visitors love them look at this backyard it's incredible it's the best place to grab a beer and um, i recommend their coconut lime ale I hope it was kind of fun for you to see the differences between the Isla Mirada Beer Company locations in Fort Pierce and in Isla Mirada in the Florida Keys. It's really fun to have a location in Fort Pierce because that's a much shorter drive for us than Isla Mirada is. So if you've followed me for any amount of time, you probably already know that the Florida Keys are my favorite place. So it's really fun to be able to get that Florida Keys fix with much less of a drive. After Isla Mirada Beer Company, we went to Pierced Cider Works, which is located in downtown Fort Pierce. And I was a little bit nervous to go here because obviously it's a cidery, not so much a brewery. And I really don't like sours, as you know. And um, I will talk about it a little bit more here. I actually ended up loving it. Hello from Pierced Cider Works in Fort Pierce. Um, Mitchell's getting us an appetizer from the food truck right now and I'm sitting here with our drinks. If you watched our video on um, in Newport Ritchie, I tried a pickle sour and this place is obviously pretty much only ciders and sours. So it's Mitchell's like favorite place ever and I am not necessarily my favorite. Um, but they had this spicy pickle and you saw me try again, like I just said, the pickle sour in Newport Ritchie and I can do it when it's pickle. So um, I'm doing it and it's really spicy, which I love. Um, so it's, it's okay. Um, we just finished at Isla Mirada. We had one drink there. Um, now we're here and we may go to Sailfish after this. Um, Iowa State plays here in like an hour or so, in a little bit. So we're going to catch the game, but we can watch it on our phones from pretty much wherever. That's not a problem. Um, so yeah, this place is adorable, even though it's only ciders and sours. Um, I love the vibe. And like I said, I'm actually really loving this pickle sour. It's really good and I love the spice. So highly recommend. I think Mitch got like a blueberry, I think. Um, and he absolutely loves it. Said it's really, really good. So he's pretty stoked to have found this place. I had showed you this and I said that we were gonna go up to um, Sebastian up here, but Sebastian's actually like an hour away. We are staying um, like, let's see, where are we? We're staying like over here. So it's an hour away. So I think that instead of going there on this trip, we're gonna just plan like a whole trip to Vero Beach one time. Um, so we, let's see, this isn't the one that I just, oh yeah, this got stamped at Isla Mirada and now we're here i think we'll go here and then back home like i said we've already been to these places we just didn't know that this map existed um and so we didn't get the stamps unfortunately but i love hop life it's one of my favorite breweries we've found this year um so i wouldn't mind going back there but <laughs> i think we'll be ready to go after these three yeah, it's the ranch and she looking like i was a murderer iowans love their ranch and the cheese curds they had a food truck, which was amazing because it was like four o'clock when we were there and we hadn't eaten since breakfast. But the absolute best part was this. It's a flight with each cider that they had on tap and there were 10 of them. And I actually liked almost all of them. We absolutely loved Pierced Cider Works. It was the best find of like the whole trip. Absolutely amazing and we can't wait to go back. And I feel like when I was kind of talking about the spicy pickle that I didn't do it justice. It was so good that I actually got some to go, which is so ironic because I was just so worried about finding something I would like there. I also realized that earlier I mentioned sours and ciders are not necessarily sours. Um, but again, I'm just such a beer person. I typically don't love ciders or sours. And so going to a cidery made me nervous but I'm the one who ended up with stuff to go. So it was a great day. This was the last video from our weekend getaway to the East Coast, but we have a lot more fun adventures and videos coming your way, including a tour of the resort from this trip. 
You don't want to miss it, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't, and we can't wait to see you next time.